The piece that I have chosen is Landscape CA by Hodaka Yoshida. The Yoshida family of artists were prominent from the early 19th century to the late 20th century. The family used a wide range of media, styles, and techniques that followed the development of modern Japanese art as a whole. Hodaka Yoshida became the first in the family known for abstract art, specializing in oil painting and woodblock print. Hodaka was a pioneer in the field of woodblock printing in particular, employing such methods as copper etching, lithograph, and silkscreen. Landscape CA is a photo etching and woodblock, measuring about 17 inches by 13 inches. Between 1966 and 1974, Hodaka focused mainly on mythology and landscape prints. Landscape CA, having been completed in 1972, falls within this period and highlights Hodaka's interest in applying novel methods to woodblock printing. The subject matter is fairly straightforward at first glance. A distant mountain, flowers in the foreground, a fallen statue at the base, and what appears to be farmland spanning the image and connecting the mountain to the viewer. Certain aspects of the print, however, make it clear that Hodaka was intent on diverging from his family's conservatism and embracing a more abstract style. The shade of the sky is almost perfectly white with a bright yellow band at the top depicting sunlight. The lighting of the print is also far from consistent. Light originates from the right side of the woodblock, not the top where the sun rests. The perspective of the fields is also nonlinear. The boundary between the distance and the foreground is clear and divides the print horizontally. Hodaka also uses the clock in the center of the flowers and the fallen statue reminiscent of the Buddha to emphasize the passage of time. Showing the passage of time and rejecting the old ways of creating woodblocks further reinforces Hodaka's status as an abstract artist, a role which he embraces in several other works. Landscape CC is an example of one of these works, where he continues to use flower and clock motifs. A large clock at the bottom right stands in contrast to traditional flowers on the left. A vast blank space comprises the center of the painting, providing a sense of emptiness and drawing the viewer's eyes down towards the bottom of the image. The contrast is similar to that exhibited by the fallen statues in Landscape CA. Hodaka's work conveys the idea that the old ways are subject to change, and as they change, so does his art itself. Landscape Gemini is another of Hodaka's landscapes that shows abstract themes. Upon further examination, the trees and mountains in the image are actually human or animal faces and bodies. His use of individual living beings in traditional landscape lends a touch of humanity to it that resonates with the viewer. The use of horizontal lines in the sky and ocean are evocative of the field in Landscape CA. The perspective of Landscape Gemini is also nonlinear. The hill in the foreground appears almost flat in comparison to the lush green hill behind it and the mountain in the distance. There are three layers of depth in the work, forcing the viewer to confront Hodaka's abstract depictions of rocks, water, and forests.